All right guys, so thanks for tuning into this awesome video. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the ultimate jump rope techniques to burn tons of fat. But first I'm gonna show you everything you need. First and foremost, get yourself a quality jump rope. This one is by Rush Athletics, super awesome rope. And here we have a towel. So you can dry off right after the intensive workout. And of course, last but not least, I recommend these jugs of water. These are called Ekkies. I will also put the link in the, in the description below. You can get these on Amazon real cheap. The key is to stay hydrated, you know, and of course, Please subscribe, please hit the like button. I will highly appreciate that. And now without further ado, let's move on. And here we go, the first step is of course, is to get yourself in a real comfortable position and just get your hops up in place. So I like to call these like these little baby hops. The whole point is to really, really just take it nice and simple, have some music playing on your head and just jump to the rhythm of the beat. Don't go too fast. Of course, don't go too f uh, slow. And almost like a cat. You definitely wanna land almost like a cat. Now here is a, a little close up with the footwork and basically so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm jumping on the ball of my foot every single time, never flat footed. And as you can see, I keep that rhythm going and I do the little toe taps here, basically at the rhythm of the music, you know, it's and, and just basically keeping that same rhythm. And as you can see now, I'm using my heels. I'm definitely landing on them heels back there, you know, just, just to get that blood pumping. And definitely, you definitely wanna get into this, uh, doing this boxer step right here because this really actually helps burn tons of calories so make sure you guys uh study the footwork here and check it out now this here is basically a demonstration on how to be able to uh control your footwork so basically what i do is i cross my hands and i just basically start kicking out like this and this is what you want to do if you uh really want to build up the footwork and be able to uh control the jump roping just cross your hands and do what i'm doing right here it's gonna look funny, but sometimes you gotta train without the rope, and then because the, uh, the whole point is to combine these things together. Now for the second part, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the crisscross. Of course, everybody wants to know how to do it, so this is the first step. Always make sure that you hold the jump rope at that end right there, and make sure that your hands look like this. So then basically, you're gonna come in, and you're just gonna practice this exact move so you can get your crisscross in point. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the best crisscross. So here it goes. <coughs> come in, and come out. Come in, and come out. When I was first learning this, I would just do this over and over again, basically to train my mind on where to cross. So basically you just want to imagine like you're pulling out two pistols, whap hat, and putting them back in. There you go. You can go a little bit faster. I would say a couple sets of 20 of these. Just swing, come back. Swing, and come back. Swing, and come back. As you can see, the uh, arms are crossing there really good, and you definitely want to keep that uh, momentum going. So after doing this for so long, you're going to basically teach your brain how to catch up with, with yourself when you're jumping. This is the second point of the crisscross right here, and this is basically the, the, the second part, and I'm gonna show you how to basically combine these moves. As you can see now, I'll do a little, little hop, 
crisscross, same exact motion. And as you can see, I'm taking it real easy when I hop. Just slowly, boom, boom, boom. In the shape of a rhythm, pretty much. Keeping that going. Just crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. It does take a little bit of practice, but the whole point is to study that little hop right there. And of course, to definitely combine the crisscrossing with it. Combining it together really adds to your workout and burns extra amounts of calories. So now it's time to get into uh, double unders. So the first thing I'm going to do is teach you guys the double under jump. As you can see right there, definitely want to do an explosive little hop. That should give you enough space for the roll to go underneath you twice. So you study this by itself, get those hops in. They're very easy. I know you can do them. This next part right here is training your brain on basically how to read the double under. So you just definitely want to tap your legs twice. Here we go. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Every single time. In this part, you basically want to jump with the hop and double tap. This is going to teach your brain how to do a double under in no time. Just double tap and hop. Double tap and hop. Don't do it without the rope yet. Basically, do it without the rope. And then when you're ready, you can come in and do it. So you definitely want to double tap. Double tap. Double tap. Double tap. This will basically teach you the rhythm of the double under. Double tap. Double tap. And of course, guys, like I said before, do it without the rope. And now... Here's the full double unders right here. Now the next step, of course, is teaching you the side-by-side -side crisscross. Now pay attention here. As you can see, I'm gonna go back to just moving the rope by itself. Swing, swing, side-by-side. -side side by side of course you get this motion so you definitely want to practice this by itself slowly start lifting your legs up and right as you can see how i'm doing here and that will basically teach you the motion there you go now you definitely want to start leaning side by side you see the hips you basically want to start swinging your hips boom boom so what it is is if your hips are pointing to the right and to the left the rope is basically on the other side boom swing 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 you may look funny doing this at first but this is basically teaching you the motion sometimes i do it one hand here just to basically build up that momentum, swing and do it with the other hand. That actually gives you a good amount of symmetry. So then basically you can learn the technique even better. All right, awesome. So here we go. The next step is to pretty much start bringing it together, as you can see, and start doing this movement right here. Now this is basically swinging side by side. And it's real easy to do this basically, and I'm gonna show you how to do it here. So you could do it without the rope. As you can see, I'm just maneuvering my legs left and right. And you could actually start a pendulum here as well, which actually, you know, it's kind of like a Bruce Lee thing. So I'm gonna show you guys the footwork now. Well, guys, you can see I swing my legs left and right, legs and right, left and right, following the swinging motion right here. And then basically you can start bringing them together kind of like a Bruce Lee thing. There you go, side by side or switch legs or just stay together and you just want to do the side by side swing on the next clip of course we'll be bringing it all together so here we go side by side swings and then we start jumping here and then it all starts to come together it's like a puzzle as you can see so what i'm trying to get you guys to do is to do everything apart and start bringing these things together now while you get comfortable then you can definitely incorporate a swing one two jump 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 one, two, jump. One, two, jump. One, two. As you can see, it was very, very simple to do that. All right, awesome. You guys are getting it. You guys are getting it. Next time, here we go. A little, a little bit of speed now. Definitely want to start bringing it fast. So after doing it so long, you guys should actually pick up the speed in no time. I'm going after a rhythm of the sound of the headphones right now. Got a little, you know, a little play that's going on. And as you can see, you can start a little jog going on. It's basically the same thing that, that we're doing before. We're just basically putting the moves together. We go with the next one. So basically, I'm going to show you now. It's a little bit basically the combinations of the moves and how we're going to start basically doing the Tyson jump. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to study this right here. Kick, kick, squat. And here's, a, here's me from the side. Kick, kick, and squat. Kick, kick, squat. Make sure you definitely sit down on that squat. So then basically when you start doing the little swings, you incorporate this squat. And we're going to do something known as a basic Tyson squat. Now we're ready to put the whole Tyson squat together. Now this is extremely challenging, but I'm pretty sure you guys can do it. Once you get the side by side, then if you want to come down and do the little Tyson squat, 
The deeper you go in the squat, the better, the more calories you burn. Definitely keep that going. If you get exhausted, trust me, you will be, but you know you'll be killing it once you get this, this motion down. Now last but not least, we're back here and we're gonna do a little bit of freestyle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the number one, get the boxer step in there, that's step one. You know, taking everything we learned and do a little freestyle with a little playlist. I recommend that you guys have uh, electronic music or techno. Here I am again jumping left, right, left, right. And then here we go with the Tyson squats. And you know, basically we're just gonna do a little bit of measure, putting everything together. And as you can see now, I'll do the double under swing right here, putting all the moves together. I start to do a little bit of running. And once you get, you know, to that level, then you can, you guys can definitely start killing it. All it takes is a little bit of practice. Thanks guys for checking out my jump rope tutorial. Please subscribe and hit the like button for more. I'll keep them coming. I wish you guys the best in your fitness journey and you will make it step by step. Let's do this. Don Chulo out.